Hey everybody, it's Blue Chat and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Listen. The Great Deku Tree wanted us to go to visit the princess at Hyrule Castle. Shouldn't we get going? I guess we should. So let's head over this way. Now that we've done everything that we needed to do here, this Kokiri that was stopping us from getting through has moved. We Kokiri will die if we leave the forest. You're not going to try to leave the forest, are you? Well, sorry to tell you, but I am. Oh, you're leaving? I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Link. Because you are different from me and my friends. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. You receive the Fairy Ocarina. This is a memento from Saria. Set it to C and press C to start playing it. On the select item subscreen, you can set it to C buttons. Yes, this is literally what you just said, basically. You can play different notes with A and the four C buttons. Press B to quit playing or to start your song over again. When you play my Ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. Hyrule Field. So here we are, in a new area of the world. So now if we go to our map, we can see that this place is absolutely huge. We have a few other areas that we can access now. But anyway, let's get out of that menu for the moment. We have the Fairy Ocarina in right now, but we can't really do anything with it. Hoot hoot, Link. Look up here. It appears that the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. You will encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged, even during the toughest times. Go straight to the... Did you get all that? I love how you can skip all the text and then it's just like, did you get all that? And then you can say no and it would just, and you can skip through it again and it's just like, did you get all that? Nope. <laughs> did you get all that? Nope. <laughs> anyway. Go straight this way and you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Press start, enter the subscreens and Z or R to find the map. On the map subscreen, you will also see a flashing dot showing which way you should go next. Did you get all that? Yes, I did. All right, then. I'll see you around. Hoot 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 ho. Okay, goodbye. Anyway, out here. Time has passed a bit by the looks of it. Because out in the field, time is actually passing with the sun going up and down. Uh, also, this is a pea hat. Its weak point is its roots. Also, it just it's an absolute huge thing that can attack us. This, these used to be the most terrifying things in the game, pretty much. They still are pretty terrifying. So we just need to block their attack with our shield if we can and just keep attacking its root to get rid of it. 
There are also several other types of them around the field that will just uh, spawn miniature versions of them that we need to avoid. But anyway, Hyrule Field is actually kind of dangerous at the moment to us, but not too dangerous. So I'm going to follow this path because I want to. Also, I'm taking my time because usually you always have to wait at least once. You have, to, you have to have to wait all night at least once for the stuff to happen. Because way over there is where we need to go. And that bridge, that drawbridge comes up at night. So, also, hello. The owl's actually over there now. Just watching me. I haven't seen this before. Uh, but also during the night, if it's going to happen. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. It should be happening. It's not, though. I see. Oh, there we go. These style childs spawn in. Hey, Link, wait a second, friend. Beyond this point, you'll find Kak uh, Kakariko Village. Have you seen the Princess of Hyrule? If not, I suggest you go to the castle. Do you want to hear this again? Uh, no, thank you. Link, you're the only one who can complete the quest ahead. You must do your best, too. But yes, at night, monsters... Well, these style childs will appear. Out of the ground. They can't touch water, which is interesting. Uh, don't be afraid of the style child. Just attack it repeatedly. They also will attack us, though, which is the problem. But if we attack them enough, we'll actually get... Uh, some rupees and other stuff dropped from them. Uh, but if we actually get to where we're supposed to be, which is way over here, instead of jumping over this way to see what the owl says, uh, there are a couple of ledges in front of the drawbridge which we can stand on top of and they can't actually reach us when we're standing there so and it also occasionally a a big style child will spawn in which is quite interesting because I didn't know that they were a thing until one point when I was just attacking the style childs but yes we can wait just up here until morning because it has to be daytime for the bridge to be down well, it looks like it's getting to daytime now, which is good. Can also just hit them while they can't hit us from up here, so... That is also good. But anyway, now that it is about to be daytime, let's line ourselves up with this block here, and... Oh, hello! That was a big one, but it, it's gone now. And then angle ourselves directly this way, like that. And then, if we walk up this chain... And then jump over to the left, or do that from the other side, from to the right. We actually get some invisible red rupees, which is good for us because we get a lot of rupees from that. Welcome to Hyrule Castle Town. It's a peaceful, pro uh, prosperous town. Thank you. Well, let's take a look around because there's a few things that we can do. We're starting off with the best place of all time, the pot ha pot house. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best way to describe it. Uh, I guess. But there's just a ton of pots in here that we can break and get rupees. Unfortunately, though, once we reach 99 rupees, which will be very soon, we hit a limit on rupees, which is a, a big shame because one of these boxes has blue rupee in it. Doesn't it? Maybe I'm wrong about that. But anyway, we can roll into these boxes to actually break them, which is good. And also, if we break this one... There's the gold skull tiles inside. inside. <laughs> wow, words. So let's grab that. Which is good. Now let's talk to this guard here. Man, I'm so bored. Things would be sh sh uh, would sure be more interesting if there were more troubles in the world. Hey, that's just between you and me, okay? Anyway, maybe we can let off some steam by breaking these jars. Stand near a jar and press A to lift it, press A again to toss it. Or just use your sword to cut them, because you can do that as well. But anyway, let's leave that now that we have 99 rupees. And let's head into the main part of town. I'm kind of sad that I can't change the angle, but there's... There's no other viewpoint. Ha! Huh, ha! Huh, I'm late, I'm late! For a very important date! Well, there he goes. Market's quite full of things. Hem, hem. This bar beard is my pride and joy. Doesn't it look 
a luxuriant kid. Luxuriant. There's also a couple of shops here. Kid, have you been to Lon Lon Ranch? Their milk is delicious. There are many horses there, and the young daughter of the ranch owner is cute. To get to Lon Lon Ranch, after you leave town, head due south across the field. You should visit the ranch at least once. I'll keep that in mind. My precious little puppy's fur coat is very special compared to the other mutts around here. Okay. Also, we can cut this grass here, which is cool. Hey, forest boy, this is the city of Hyrule. Take your time and enjoy the sights. If you come here, if you came here to see Hyrule Castle, take the street on your right. If you want to see the back alleys of the town, take the street to the left. There are back alleys. I'm not dancing, you know. My back itches. Ooh, ah, ooh. Okay. I made a lot of money. Maybe I should go look for more things to sell. I know, I should go to Lake Hylia. Many things float down the river and end up there. Haha. <laughs> Do you know about the Temple of Time that we have in the north northern e <laughs> northeast part of town? Legends say that the Temple of Time is the entrance to the Sacred Realm. Did you know that? Have you heard the legend of the Shadow Folk? They are the Sheikah, the shadows of the Hylians. They say they swore allegiance to the King of Hyrule and guarded the royal family. But with the long peace, no one has seen a Sheikah around here for a long time. However, I heard there is one Sheikah woman living in the castle. And I think we've almost gone to everyone. Wow, what a crazy guy. Can you believe this guy was crazy enough to try to sneak into the castle to see Princess Zelda? All because of this idiot, they've tightened security at the castle. <laughs> I wanted to see Princess Zelda. I avoided the guards. Sw swam through the moat. I was almost there when the they caught me. I found a small drain hole on the right side of the castle that I uh, thought I could sneak into, but I got stuck in stuck there. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Uh, anyway, there's also a guy up there. I don't know if I can actually talk to him though. Hey, let go! It's mine. I found it first. <laughs> okay. Actually, I think I can talk to that guy if I take these stairs here. Yes. Also, there's some rupees up here, apparently. I didn't know that. They say we Hylians have big ears in order to hear the voices of the gods, but I've never heard them. Okay, well, let's head on down a back alley then. Hey, Sonny, I'll tell you something helpful. I heard there is a mysterious fountain somewhere near the castle. Okay, well, there's a few other things here we could check, but I'm not going to be able to do it right now, so I'm going to leave those for now. It seems strange that packs of dogs roam our streets at night. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Kind of does, but not that weird, maybe? I don't know. Hey, what? What's wrong with loitering around all day? Huh, kid? Okay. Is this... what's in here? Strange, this door doesn't open. <laughs> that is strange. Good, well spotted. Anyway. That is pretty much everything here. For the moment. Uh, although I want to look at a few other things first before we leave. So let's go into this building here. The Shooting Gallery. Shooting gallery, 20 rupees for one play. There are 10 targets. You have 15 chances to hit all 10 targets. Hit oh, hit 10 targets, perfect prize. Hit 8 or more, free retry. Hit, hit less than 8, and it's game over. 
Rules at this shooting gallery. Don't lean on the counter. Don't disturb other customers. That's it. That's all the rules. Do you want to play a game? It's 20 rupees per play. Let's go. Okay, this is a game for grown-ups. Hyrule's famous shooting gallery. Take aim at the targets from that platform over there. Can you hit 10 targets? You get 15 shots. Draw your weapon with B. Are you ready? Go for a perfect score. Good luck. So we get to use a uh, slingshot with B. We're gonna have 15 shots and we need to hit all 10 rupees. Blue ones go from the sides, green ones are usually in the middle. And red ones are chaos and destruction. Also, they go away after a few seconds, we need to be very fast. You can still hit them when they're going off screen though. As long as you're careful. Red ones go from the sides, across, all the way. Almost, I missed one. I like the way that they look all together like that. Well, alright. I'll let you try one more time, for free. This time, you gotta do it. So let's see how we go. That's rude. I, oh, but it gave me back the thing instantly. That's good. Oh my goodness. As long as you can just use the left and right aiming. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm struggling. I'm struggling because I got the wrong angle. Oh, this is bad. Oh my goodness, this is bad. I'm having controller issues. Oh my goodness, controller issues, please. I'm having PTSD. Uh-oh. 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 I missed too many. I can't. No. Oh, I missed too many already, so I have to pay 20 rupees again. That's fine. What I was saying, though, is if you can get the right height, you can just use left and right to aim. But it's a little bit difficult sometimes, so... Especially with a control stick. Ah! Being weird. It's fine. It's so fine. It's so fine. Just need to hit all... 10 targets, please. Really? Really? Oh my goodness. I'm getting mad because I'm... This controller is... It's very weird, I guess. Okay, one more time, 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 one more time. I've got this. Oh, I misaligned again. Oh no. If you can figure out where you need to aim with the slingshot, it should be fairly good. I'm out of alignment again. I keep pressing down more than I'm trying to actually press down. Please. Oh no, please, thank you. Wonderful, bravo, perfect. Here's a fantastic present. And for that we get... A Deku Seed Bullet Bag. This bag can hold up to 40 slingshot bullets. So now instead of 30 being our maximum amount that we can have... For our slingshot, we can now have 40. Which is pretty good. Now, I think that all that is done. I think I actually will be done here, probably. There are a couple of shops I could check out, but I think I'm going to hold off a little bit more. Happy Mask Shop. Please read the sign before you use the shop. We do not sell masks at the shop, we just lend them to you. You sell the loaned masks on your own. You pay back the money for the mask, and we lend you a newer model. You can borrow masks you have already sold again. However, you can sell each model of, of mask only once. Please try our shop. Happy Mask Shop owner. What a strange shop. I wonder when it will be open for business. I read the sign there, but it still seems weird. Well, I have to come back to that later, but it's interesting that that's like that, I guess. Okay. Hey you! Hey your clothes! They're different! You're not from around here, are you? Oh, you're a fairy boy from the forest. My name is Malon. My dad owns Lolon Ranch. Dad went to the castle to deliver some milk, and he hasn't come back yet. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Let's head to Haru Castle.
There's the owl again. Hey, Link! This way! The princess is inside the castle, just ahead. Be careful not to get caught by the guards. Ha ha ha, hoot. On this ground, time flows normally. Looks just like in Hyrule Field, because in the town, time doesn't pass. But time stands still while you are in London Ranch, or in a town. If you want time to pass normally, you'll need to leave town. Well, well, which way are you going to go now? Ho ho hoot. Do you want to hear what I said again? No, I don't. Ho, oh, you're a smart kid. Good luck then. Hoo hoo. There he goes. Anyway, while we're here, let's roll into this tree. And let's cut this... What's it called? Gold Skulltula. To get that. We're going to get a couple of those from... Uh, rolling into trees, so need to keep that in mind. But let's head back to town real fast. But something's different. So let's go to Haru Castle now again. <laughs> because that's going to change something else again, because now Malon's over here. Are you going to the castle, fairy boy? Would you mind finding my dad? He must have fallen asleep somewhere around the castle. What a thing for an adult to do, Teehee. Oh yeah, if you'll look for him, I'll give this to you. I've been in incubating this egg very carefully, teehee. We got a weird egg! Feels like there's something moving inside. Set it to see and see what happens. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Set it to a C button. So let's set that to that then. And now if we pull that out... It looks like this item doesn't work here. Well, that's just how that is then. Anything else to say? Set the egg to sea to incubate it, Teehee. My dad is really troublesome for an adult. Isn't he, Teehee? So we need to have the egg equipped to a, one of the buttons. Just while we're going through here. And now, up here is a gossip stone. This statue's one-eyed gaze pierces into your mind. Let's hit it with a sword. Make it bounce. And it tells us the time. Boing boing! The current time is 11, I think there's something around that. It, it's the in-game time, that is, so. Well, so we can go down this ladder to go through a door and out here, or we can just jump down here, so. I think j just jumping down is faster. But it's cool to go through in, like, into the small room here. Like, look, look, look at this. This is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool room. It's not that crazy, but it's... It just seems cool to me as a gatehouse thing. But anyway, let's head on over this way. And see what else we can do. If we get seen by any of the guards, we'll get thrown outside of that gate that we just passed through, so... Dead end. So there's guards up... Oh, I wasn't trying to do that. Please. Did I read the sign? Yes, it did. Dead end. Uh, so there's a guard up there at the end of that, uh, on top of the gate thing, so I can't get that way, and there's one up there. There are two over there, so I can't get through there. But there's this one slope over here that I can go up to avoid being seen. Then we just want to be careful to stay in the middle of this area kind of thing, and head directly for this other side here. I think there might possibly be some other guards roaming around here. So we need to be careful of those ones as well. But otherwise, we should be good. Uh, over here, however, we can go climb up this wall. Just like that. Another gossip stone to tell us the time. It's like they're trying to tell us something about time. And how time is passing here. Uh, but anyway, we need to also jump into this moat so we can avoid being seen by the guards up there. Pretty sure they can see behind them somehow. While we're swimming in here, we'll also get a couple of rupees, which is cool. But anyway, let's get up this little ledge here. And we can also roll into this tree, which doesn't do much, but I mean, it drops a rupee, I guess. Sometimes the trees will drop different things depending on random. Uh, but they also drop leaf particles, which is cool. 
Anyway, this is where we're supposed to be, so if we talk to this guy. Z z z z z z z. Mumble mumble. Welcome. Our ranch is so fun. Come on and look around. Okay, well, we can also move these uh, crates around as well. They're like the blocks that we had to move in the Decker Tree, so let's move these over this way so that we can be ready to do what we need to do. Can't get through this door because it's not an actual door. But there is a small fountain leading out of the main part of the castle. Just there, so. But now we have to actually wait until daytime because of the, the game wants time to pass. A whole day, basically. Also, it's weird because in the Zelda universe, for some reason, the sun and moon are opposite each other, so the moon's actually going down now. Which is a little bit strange, but I guess for this world, it's fairly normal at this point. I guess this was the first game that had a sun and moon going down in opposite directions. Or the same direction, just opposite each other. Anyway. And once the sun rises and the crow... Or the... What's it called? The rooster crows. Look! A chicken hatch from the egg you're incubating. It's the miracle of life. And now, in our inventory, we actually have... Uh, what's it called? The chicken. We got a chicken. So, let's go up to this guy over here and bring it out. I can't see. More entire nation. Can't a person get a little shot eye around here? I'm gonna actually get into a better position so I can actually see him. Please. Maybe. Hello, and who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lamon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I sat down here to rest and I guess I fell asleep. What? Malon was looking for me. I'm gonna catch it from her now. I messed up bad. I'm leaving uh, Malon behind. I messed up behind, leaving Malon behind to wait for me. She's really gonna let me have it. Well, there he goes. And now, we can push these crates of milk into place over here, off the edge. And then we can actually do what we need to do. Okay. Let's put that into position. There we go. Now we can climb up this and jump across this and crawl ourselves into this spot here. Now, that we're here. If you come here at night, there are actually going to be guards here to grab you and throw you out the front of uh, this place, which is weird, so. So if we get caught, it's the same rules as before, except that if we get caught now, we don't get thrown outside the front gate. Hey you! Stop! You kid over the, over there! Instead, we get thrown out outside this door. So there's not too much of a risk whenever we get caught by these guys. Because we don't get put out right the, out the front gate. We just get put out here, and we can just go back in. But anyway... Let's just get through this place like an absolute crazy person. They can't see us through the hedges, so we can take that, use that to our advantage. But they will look left and right whenever they're walking through, or look just after getting through an area. But anyway, let me be absolutely crazy and go over here. Because I am far too crazy about this. When I was a kid, I'd, I'd be a lot more cautious about waiting for things to be in the just the right position. There's also some rupees that we, that we could get. Uh, or we can go over the top by going up these steps. And going over that one beam going across the bit. 
Uh, but if we step off, we'll fall through, which is not exactly what we want to do. This is a real shame. <laughs> I think I was a bit slow on the previous thing, because these guys aren't where I want them to be. But that's okay. Just need to be patient. Also, I like how there's statues here. And other ornaments. Just need to be patient. We can get through here. Okay. Going to be, need to be very careful here because there are two guards, but one of them is at the back, so we can't see him because it's too far away, apparently. This is weird. Wait, oh, there it is. Oh, but do I go now? I think I can, if I'm careful. Because I think they move at different rates, which means... weirdness, but anyway. We've made it through. Castle Courtyard. Also, if we look in this window up here, we can see a picture of Yoshi. Peach. Hang on, please. Peach, Mario. And... Bowser and Luigi. That's just a really cool Easter egg over there. Uh, but also, if we get out our slingshot real quick, and go to the other window, there isn't anything else there, but if we shoot it, there's a guard that pops his head around. Hey you! Don't cause any trouble! And he throws a bomb at us, so we need to get away from that before he explodes. Oh my goodness. Uh, but speaking of shooting the windows, if we shoot this one, it gives us a red rupee, which is worth 20, so... Quite interesting. But anyway, that's everything else here that I wanted to show before we moved on. Let's speak. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then are you... Are you from the forest? Then... Then... You wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? I do. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out from the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh. I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link. Strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the Sacred Realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. No. Come on, don't be a blabbermouth. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. The legend goes like this. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. 
If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yes, I did. That's great! I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? No. Please, if you don't, hurry, he'll be gone. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered the Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning, yet. Yes, I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be the nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. I don't believe you. Please believe me. My prophecies have never been wrong. Okay then. <laughs> Thank you! I... I'm afraid I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing, take this letter, I'm sure it will be helpful to you. You received Zelda's letter! Wow, this letter has Princess Zelda's autograph! Set it to C and show it with C. On the select item subscreen, you can set it, yes, with, yes. But anyway, this replaces our chicken, so we don't have that anymore. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Don't be afraid to talk to her. Also, I, I've always, like, as a child, I thought that all the guards were wearing shades under their helmet. Like, it's, it's just the shadow on their face, but it looks like, it looked like shades to me. Anyway. I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I'm responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. 
You're heading out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. Memorize this song. So now using the C stick, we need, or C buttons, we need to match the notes marked. You played Zelda's Lullaby. You've learned Zelda's Lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. You brave lad, we must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn it, to learn the song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. But anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.